Hello and welcome everyone to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How are you all doing today? Thank you very much for joining. Right off the bat, if you guys could please hit the like button, I'd really, really appreciate it. Thanks to all of you subscribers on YouTube, followers on Twitch. Thanks for all the support from all you guys. Oh. Why did I stop talking tonight? Sorry guys, didn't mean to stop talking in the middle of that, I got a message. Thanks for all the support you guys, keep it up and I will keep up the videos. Thanks again for joining, Edwards Fanatic 19 is in the building. Alright, and without further ado, let's get started. As you can see by the title of today's video, I will be attempting to recreate Rusty Wallace's 1988 Bristol Flip. Thanks to all you people that have requested this. I've gotten multiple, multiple requests to do this one. Where is what I'm looking for? Alright, for those of you that have not seen this wreck in question, I will show you right now. Switching the screen over. Alrighty, so thank you to Bernard Bradley for this clip. Rusty Wallace tumbles down the front chute at Bristol, Tennessee. By far the most spectacular victim of that rough Bristol surface was Rusty Wallace, who cut a tire in just three laps of practice and took this wild ride. Now this kind of bowel roll is usually associated with super All right, so it doesn't really right? show how it starts. It just shows how it ends. Night, Him tumbling, track facing Saturday. the infield about four or five times and lands on his wheels with the nose kind of up on the pit road wall. What type of force does really do have in his corner? So that is what I'm going for. Thanks again to Bernard Bradley for the clip. And I'm doing a little bit research since I couldn't find the middle, or how the clip, uh, the wreck began. I found this article from way back when. Said he, after he cut a tire, he slid into the fourth turn wall, climbing on top of the wall, turning over and barrel rolling. So somehow he hit the wall climbed up the wall and started barrel rolling facing the infield. I'm guessing he kind of did like a... Was that David Green in 97? He kind of climbed up the wall, but instead of staying on his roof, he kind of started tumbling facing the infield instead, would be my guess. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. Oh yeah, go away drop frames. Alright, so I'm using the Arrow 88 mod. We got his number 27, Kodiak Pontiac. Kodiak Pontiac. 1988. Going to single race. Bristol 1991 is the closest year I could find. Since he was in practice, we don't need too many cars. And sounds good. Let's jump in. Do you think Suarez deserves to run the Clash? Why not? He seems like he's been doing good. I haven't paid too much attention to him, but he's seemed pretty damn good. Alright, I want to be sunny. So, I will show you guys something that I discovered shortly that is very fortunate for this video, this particular reenactment. So in this version of Bristol, coming out of turn 4, if you hit the wall, the car loves to climb up and go airborne, like I will show you right here. So that will help my chances a lot. Thanks to that turn 4 wall basically being a ramp. So let's take a look at that first attempt. So yeah, that's kind of what I was th think happened. Except instead of staying on his roof, he just kept barrel rolling. Do a barrel, barrel roll. Sorry, I won't be. I won't be that cheesy guy. Limit thirty-five. Keep it under thirty-five. 
Alright, so since no one really knows exactly for sure, since there's no footage of it, how the wreck started, other than cutting a tire, hitting the wall, and started barrel rolling, the rest is up to speculation, just as long as the end of the wreck finishes properly. Nope. Nope. Not even worth a replay. Oh. No, sorry, Kitty. <sighs> God damn it. My normally super unfriendly cat picks the worst times to wanna. Fucking come up. Don't do it. Hold on, I gotta deal with this. Come on. Barrel one. Oh, damn it. I thought he was going to stay facing the infield. <laughs> Most of that lap was messed up for me trying to deal with my damn cat. I turned the track grip up by like two tenths just to make the handling a bit is easier for this reenactment. Maybe I just need to turn it back down. Because it seems like that's affecting the... Limit 35. Keep it under 35 seems like that's affecting the tumbles. I'm just going to turn dead right. So he blows a tire. Oh no. Come on, so tumbling. Aw, oh, damn it. That back end is getting hooked on the fence, otherwise you should start tumbling. Let's see if I can do it again this time with the same car. Looks like we're bent up oh. on the back end. God. Stupid cat. Right now. Clear inside. Nope. You're smoking out there. Keep it to 35. Keep it under 35. Watch that. Keep it So I'm just going to turn dead right. I'm trying a few more times and then I'm gonna try something in the <coughs> track settings. Try going on board. With Rusty Wallace, circa 1988, and technically 1991 with this track. Close enough. He was facing the wrong way, but otherwise the end of the flips were good. Aside from him facing the wrong way, I know I got launched super high into the air when I hit the wall, as we'll see right here. Kind of. See, I just need those flips to happen, except facing the other way. Kind of. He was tumbling while crossing the line. So I just need to have some fluke 
tumble like that happen, except I need to be facing the other way when it happens. Let's go back to chase view. Alright, he said he cut a tire into just three laps of practice. Alright, so that was one lap. Tires already getting worn. Yeah, that was two laps. All right, now we're approaching three laps. Maybe that'll be a, maybe that little bit of accuracy will help with the reenactment. All right, and here we go. Oh, and there goes the tire. God damn it! I took out the king. By the way, just a heads up for anyone that is watching this tomorrow, Saturday, I don't know the date of tomorrow, whatever tomorrow is, Saturday, I'm probably only going to be able to do one stream, a racing stream unfortunately, because I got plans basically all day, but Sunday should be back to normal. Okay, that's really annoying me how the car just keeps setting back down on the all fours every time I try that. Of course he's facing that way and he doesn't start tumbling. He just goes back onto his wheels. Maybe a little bit earlier in the turn I need to do that. Keep it to 35. Keep it under 3500. A little bit earlier into the turn I'll try this time. So like right here. Sorry, Alan. Ugh. Does anyone have any suggestions? Trying something. I'm exiting out of the game. Going to go in the track I and I settings, Bristol ninety one. Here we go. I'm going to turn this down back to what it was, which was about that. What else to try? I think that's it. I'll try that. See if that makes a difference. Back into it. All right. Let's see if turning that back down to basically normal makes any difference. Look how the car starts tumbling after he gets launched off the wall.
it. That was kind of cool. Not what I needed, but kind of cool. Alright, what else can I do other than just try more times? Limit 35. Keep it under 3500. In second. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. I have to be a little more careful with the throttle now, obviously, since I set the grip back to a more realistic level. Come on. Oh, damn it. He was facing the right way, but he did a weird little tumble on his nose and landed right back on his wheels. Otherwise, he was facing the right way to start barrel rolling. Ah, damn it. Alright, I need to try that Try that again. So that was good up until he had that weird little flip that threw him back on his wheels. Try that again. Not even worth a replay. God damn it. Next. Alright, so we're gonna simulate him blowing a tire in turn four. And then climbing the wall. Nope. Next. God damn it. Does anyone have any suggestions of what I can possibly do to achieve better results? Rusty. Get it together. You know how to flip a lot, you just need to do it the right way. Try going back to the cockpit view for this attempt. T-bone me. How dare you, Kenny. Alright, new method. I'm gonna try doing it earlier in the turn again at a faster speed and just turn dead right and don't try to correct at all. I will show you what I mean. Sorry, Daryl. Faster speed. And it's right here. Come on. Ah. Uh, saving it for at least a thumbnail. See, that was kind of what I was going for. Just a fluke twirl around in the air on the fence to have him land the right way and continue tumbling down the... The front stretch like that. Wouldn't that be hilarious if that's how, actually how the first part of the wreck was? Just 
the Wallace. 88. Flip. Attempt. One. Alright, so I'm just gonna trip more like that. Just hopefully fly in the air and kind of twirl around in the invisible wall. And hopefully come down and land at a right angle that keeps me tumbling, facing the right direction. That's all I can go for. Well, it was an interesting flip. Not the one I needed, though. Just got absolutely drilled by that one car while I was tumbling. <laughs> Who is that? 426. How of all people is he in that? Arcuda? How is he in this car set? Alright, so for those of you just joining, my method I developed, since we don't know exactly what the start of the wreck looked like, I'm basically just turning dead right into the wall, coming off of turn four, flying up, climbing the wall, twirling around in the invisible wall, and hopefully coming down and landing and tumbling at a right angle similar to how he was in real life. That's what we're going for. Like, here. Come on, Dale. How dare you get in my way. I think I'm turning the opponents down just a tad. Just to not have many cars that could possibly get in the way. Damn it, and now neither session is sunny. There we go. Barrel roll facing the right way, which hasn't happened yet. Otherwise, the stream wouldn't still be going. Limit 35. That's not what I needed. It's a cool wreck, but not what I needed. All right. What can I do differently? From what I'm doing right now, that'll give me a better shot. Still good. Ish. We got big time problems with that motor, buddy. Nah, that's fine. They're usually supposed to smoke like that, right? Just launch into the invisible wall possible. 
because that's actually what gave me my closest attempt so far. Come on. Oh, uh, damn it. Not quite. Although that, <laughs> that keeps being the best method, just try making as an obnoxious wreck as possible by launching as far into that wall. And when I come down and clip the wall, he just so happens to start tumbling the right way. Like that. He just didn't have quite enough, mo enough momentum by that point. I'm getting closer. So trying to be as obnoxious and be as unrealistic for the beginning of the wreck is actually getting me as close as I need to be for the latter part of the wreck. It's funny how it's working out. So I'll try that again this time. Just launch really far high up in the air from here. Clear inside. All right, that keeps being my go-to method. I'm gonna check back after the replay and look at the replay of the real-life wreck and see where, in relation to the start-finish line, he was tumbling. Where, in relation, was he wrecking? Is that actually coming? Oh, he was tumbling past the start-finish line. He came to a rest, like, right around here. So I will take that into consideration. Keep it to 35. I haven't seen streams in a while. Thanks for joining. Oh. Didn't mean for that to happen. I was trying to get in front of Daryl. I didn't mean to collect him. I was trying to almost launch up the banking as a ramp and do it that way. Didn't mean to collect Daryl. You tumble the right way. Keep it to thirty five. Keep it under thirty five hundred in seconds. Okay, you're clear of this way. Well, that was an interesting one.
limit 35. Keep it under 3,500 in second. Okay, you're clear of that light. Just flying through these attempts and still not getting anything close. Who needs first gear? Keep it under 3500 in second. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Oh, you bastard. He landed the right way to where he could have started tumbling. God damn it. Right there, he should have started tumbling. But instead, he just had to go back on his stupid wheels. What good have wheels ever done for anyone? Maybe I need to do it a little bit later in the turn than I've been doing. No, don't cancel. Don't cancel! There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna try launching myself up the track a little bit. Basically coming right out of the turn as opposed to halfway through the turn. Really great. Oh, nope. I can't get launched by that point. I think it was right after that last skid mark on the wall is when I can get launched. Or that last time mark. Last skid mark. getting hit by other people. Can I do? I'm probably already on attempt number 20 or 30 by this point. Keep it to 35. Keep it under 3500. Come on. Come on. That's attempt number two. Wasn't quite perfect, because he... That last flip was a little slow, and he didn't quite get his front end up by the pit wall, but... The latter half of that one was probably the closest I've gotten yet. Let's go to here. Yeah, I needed to get a little bit closer to the pit wall. 
But this one wasn't terrible. And yeah, that last flip was a little bad, but I'm still gonna save it as a attempt number two. Continue. Shall we? Ow. Trip just got a face full of Rusty's car. Let's see what that rear chase looked like. This is the view Daryl Waltrip just had. face full of car. He would have gone right through the windshield. Would have gone right through the windshield. Let's take a look at, at that again. Full speed up here. And the car is just repaired and they're back practicing. nothing. Still nothing. This is probably the f quickest I've ever flown through attempts in any given stream. Alright, who needs second or third? I'm not even using the clutch anymore. I'm saying fuck it. Or the brake. Or taking my foot off the gas in general. Sorry, Bobby. Why, thank you, Dale. You just got me the closest I've had. This entire damn stream. Not quite. That second one I saved was probably the closest, but... Barrel roll, thanks to Dale's T boning, is probably the second closest one I've had. Keep it under 35. 
guys have any suggestions as to what I'm doing wrong, or I can need to get closer. different might work. I should have should have known. That time was good, but he lost his momentum from the flips a little too early. He never crossed the line, and he didn't go quite down towards the pit road wall as much as he needed to. But that's kind that's kind of what I've been going for this whole time. That sort of flip. Right there, then getting hooked, and then coming back down and tumbling this way. That's basically what I've been going for this whole time. Just a matter of executing it properly and having the car go through the, the right path as Rusty Wallace did in 88. I don't need to save that one for a thumbnail because I already have those other two. And that one wasn't really any closer than the other ones. Try that again. Oh. Thought he might start tumbling there. That's what I was initially thinking happened. How he got upside down in the first place. Was he like climbed the wall like that, kind of like David Green in 97. And then went like that, and then when his car faced like this, he started barrel rolling towards the pit road wall. Except I didn't barrel roll that time. But that is how I'm guessing he flipped in real life. Minus the no barrel rolls happening in that replay right there. The start of it is how I'm guessing he flipped to begin with. Limit 35. Keep it under 35 hundred in second. Okay, you're clear of your plane. Oh, sorry, Ricky Rudd. Didn't mean to mess up your line. Nope. Not even worth looking at the replay. Next. Only got 15 minutes left. We gotta do as many more of these as possible. I don't wanna try to avoid as many part twos for these new wrecks I try as possible. I'm 
trying something new this time. I'm doing my usual method of cranking the wheel towards the wall, but the second there's contact, I'm cranking the wheel dead left. Hopefully the wheel is pointing that way. We'll kind of get the car to tip back over facing the infield. So like right here, except, oh damn it, I did it a little too late in the turn I think that time. Probably over a hundred attempts by now. God damn it. How dare you T-bone me, Bill Elliott. Slap. Ooh. In a race between me and Terry Labonte to cross the finish line there, who won? here. Who won? Me or Terry Labonte? It's going to be a photo finish. Oh. Oh. Oh, too close to tell. I need to see frame by frame. Me. By a hair. It looks like. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Because that frame, he's ahead. This frame, I'm ahead, but I can't tell if I have crossed the line there yet or not. Let's see. Yes, I'm way too bored at this point if you can't tell. Oh, man. We gotta see that from this view. Who the hell crossed the line there first? Yes, I'm way too bored at this point, if you can't tell. I want to say it was Terry. I'll have to slow that down on the YouTube video, that part right there. Do that quarter speed. Right, how much time do we got left? Probably about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes. I'm about 50 minutes into this video exactly. Right, I'll be right back. I gotta go blow my nose.
<sighs> Sorry for that, guys. Stupid cold. Happens when you don't use the clutch. Limit thirty five. Keep it under. doing wrong. What am I doing wrong? Alright, I have a good feeling about this attempt. How could you do this to me? Terry's revenge for him thinking he won that race when I, in fact, did. Just because I want to, I want to do a lap around Bristol. Absolutely no speed thing, no statistics, just the car view. Do a couple laps around Bristol like this and then I'll try the wreck. Oops. Alright, so that's what's going to cut the tire a lap later. Turn four. And, oh no, tire blown. Nope. No, that wasn't close. That wasn't even close. Do you guys have any other suggestions as to what I should do differently, or just a bunch more attempts until I get lucky on one? Ugh, God darn it. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to abandon the race.
technically that would be realistic. Having the in-car stuff in the mirror. This would be the most realistic view. I like the mirror like that. I don't know what else to do, guys. I feel like I've failed you. I feel like I've let you all down. I guess I'll just have to do a part two, although there's three more minutes left. Three more minutes left, who knows? Maybe I can get one in the last minutes. I'm just trying anything at this point. I know that was nowhere near how he probably hit the wall, but... I'm just throwing anything at the wall, no pun intended. Why do people always say no pun intended when they clearly intended the pun? It's annoying. don't know what else to do. I'm sure I'll get suggestions from you guys in the comments once I post this video, but I do not know what else to do other than just keep trying to hit the wall that's launching me as a ramp coming out of turn four and just hope to barrel roll the proper way. closest ones I've got right there. Alright, this is probably going to be the third to last attempt. Come on. Let's see if the third to last time's a charm. You know they always say third, to, third time's a charm. What about third to last time's a charm? Come on. Ugh. Bastard. Davey, use your brakes. Uh, second to last time. That might be the that might be the charm. Maybe that's the new saying. Second to last time is a charm. Alright, this is it. I can feel it. This is it. Oh, Dale. Dale. Oh, and we're dropping frames, aren't we? Yep. Sorry, guys, we're dropping some frames. Not too many. Those last few times are for me. Sorry. I was exiting out the window to check the status of the stream. Alright. Last attempt. Hopefully this will be the charm. Come on. Come on, Rusty. Help me out here. Oh, I never switched over from here. That's not good. There we go. How long has that been in window mode as opposed to application mode? Come on. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well... Apparently the answer is no for can I recreate Rusty Wallace's 1988 Bristol flip. But we'll see if the answer is yes or no when it comes to part two, which I will have at some point in the future. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did. Uh, if 
you want to comment down in the comments what your suggestions would be for future videos, races, or reenactments. I'm always loving to hear uh, suggestions. If you guys see one that someone else posted that you'd like to see, make sure you thumbs up each other's comments so then I can know uh, which ones are the more popular ones that you guys want to see done. Alright, that is it for this stream. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Please hit the like button. And that's it. Uh, until tomorrow, I will have a video tomorrow. Probably just one, but I'll still have a video tomorrow. So until then, I will see you then. Have a good rest of your night, guys. Peace.